Hello friends, it is Stasia and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Based on the title, it's not very hard to see what we're doing. Um, last year? No, I think it was earlier in the year, I met Anna Huang and in that vlog I also read Twisted Love which I really enjoyed. Uh, this was one of the first books that I ever tabbed, so the tabs aren't like up to par probably with what I would do now. But I do have a I do have a vlog reading and annotating this book. Um, so I figured I might as well just tab the rest of the series. But now that I'm more familiar with how I like to tab, I'm also going to annotate. So I'm going to write. Um, in the next three books as well, um, whereas Twisted Love was just tabbed with no writing, uh, but that's okay. So, we're going to read book two, three, and four, which is Twisted Games. They're all signed and personalized because, like I said, I met her. So, book two is Twisted Games, book three is Twisted Hate, and book four is Twisted Lies. They all get progressively bigger which is a bit scary but it's fine um so for twisted games i have a palette kind of i have tabs um they don't match the book at all and i'm just gonna go with it because i'm really running low on tabs and my tabs don't come in until tomorrow i just ordered them literally earlier today so this is the palette i have now um, because the hope is to start it at work tomorrow, but if I for some reason don't start it at work tomorrow Then I can obviously switch the tabs up uh, because I'll have more of like this aesthetic of the yellows and oranges and golds probably But for now, this is the tabs and it's, it's fine. It's just gonna have to work for now if I do end up starting it um, I've heard twisted games is a lot of people's favorites a lot of people love twisted hate but I've not heard super great things about Twisted Lies, which makes me very sad um, and also scared because this is the biggest book and it's, I feel like, I think it's over 500 pages. Yeah, so it's about 550 pages. So if anything, this is the one I'm most nervous about, but I'm excited for this one. I believe the trope is princess and bodyguard. That That's all I know. Um, I just know that. It follows the princess and her bodyguard. Um, they showed up briefly in Twisted Love because I believe these four books follows like the four group friend um, that Ava, the main character here, like her other three friends, I believe belong in these three books. That is that. Um, that's the intro. We will see tomorrow how far I get. My goal for tomorrow is to at least get over 50% into Twisted Games, which is the 50% mark is at page 210. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure how often I'm going to update. I could do any every 25%, I could do every 50%. Uh, so we're just gonna have to kind of see where I fall. So far, I do have every 25% with a little sticky note to tell me to update my vlog, but I don't actually know if I'm going to do 25% uh, because it is three books. So that could get a bit much, but the books are also a bit bigger. So maybe, I don't know. We're gonna have to see how I feel when I'm going. If I feel like there's an adequate enough information in the first 25% where I do wanna update you guys, um, then, you know, I might just go ahead and do it. I'm pretty much just winging this vlog and how I'm going to update, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so this book is 422 pages. So not the worst, that's a good thing. Um, and hopefully this will kind of get me like hooked into the world in order to read the other two books fairly quickly. But I work all day tomorrow, which is Tuesday. I work all day Thursday. Um, I'm a half day on Wednesday and I'm off on Friday. I believe somewhere in between there, Rylan wanted to do more sprints, which would definitely help me. But we're gonna have to see how it goes. I don't think I have any plans this weekend, so hopefully we'll get a lot of reading done this weekend as well. So I kind of want to get this series done and start the month off with a bang because July was not my best month. We'll see how it goes. This is the first book I'm gonna read. This is the tabs and I'll update you guys at 25 or 50 percent. We'll see how I'm feeling, but I would chat to you all soon.
hello friends i'm back for an update because i just reached part two of twisted games and so far i'm really really enjoying it i think um after this i'm gonna figure out the math on like the halfway point between part two because there's only two parts and then i will go ahead and give you guys another update then um before my last and final update when i finish the book but here is the tab update i've got lots of tabs some annotations thoughts on the book i am liking it i do not think that it will be a five star which is fine you know it's okay but my main thing that i don't think it's going to be a five star is because part one is very jumpy which it says that in the author's note Part one is it happens uh, at the same time that the first book, Twisted Love, is happening and playing catch up to kind of get us to the now. So part two, um, I think the timeline kind of starts to slow down a little bit because we're, we've caught up now. And so we're kind of seeing it as it comes instead of jumping like a couple months here and there to kind of get the story moving. But like I said, I am enjoying it. I don't anticipate um, it being a five star because of the like formatting of part one, but I am still loving it. I'm still enjoying both of our characters, Bridget and Reese, I think is how you say his name. Uh, so Reese is her bodyguard. They just met like, so the entirety of part one spans like two years, I think, but yeah, so Reese is Bridget's bodyguard because she is a princess um, of El Eldora, I believe is what she, what the place is called. It doesn't say it, but her like kingdom, whatever um, country is Eldora. And so he's kind of just her bodyguard, full-time live-in bodyguard while she lives in the US uh, not in her country but yeah so obviously there's a lot of tension because there is that like instant spark of attraction there but they don't play into anything uh, because Reese very much values his job and has like those boundaries for himself but yeah I really like Bridget um, I do think she's definitely a character she's a strong character she knows what she wants um, She's very like mature. I believe there's a like 10, I want to say it's 10, but I think it's a 10 year age gap between Reese and Bridget. But yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's a nice time. There's a lot of like sarcasm, snarky comments. So the banter is definitely there. Um, I also enjoyed seeing Ava, who was our heroine in book one. Uh, we've seen her a few times when Bridget has gone out with her friends, which was always a fun time. Um, and then we get to see, obviously, sneak peeks of the other two friends who are for book three and four. But so far, I'm enjoying it. Um, besides, like, the choppy, kind of jumpy timeline, it's been very enjoyable. Not super, super spicy yet, I would say. Um, but maybe that comes in part two. I'm not sure. A couple of, like, stolen moments and things like that. Part one, I think, was kind of just setting up the whole book. But I think in part two... Um, we're probably going to get more going on. Uh, I actually have no idea what to expect in part two because I don't know how Reese sticks around. I don't know. It's like this whole thing, but I don't want to like spoil anything. Okay, it says it in the synopsis, but I'm not going to mention it because I don't like to read the synopsis before books. So maybe you would like to be, you know, just as clueless when going into one. But yeah, so there's like a very big plot point that is about to begin and so I'm excited to see how Bridget and Reese kind of like how their relationship continues with this new thing happening but like I said I am enjoying it um I will update you guys again I don't know maybe around the 75 percent mark um but I will probably update you guys one more time before I reach the end I'm just not exactly sure where in the book I will do that but so far going good so far i am enjoying it i am on live sprints right now so i definitely do plan to be productive for at least a little bit more today um so hopefully you will see me soon with another update uh but yeah so that is basically how i'm feeling so far about twisted games and i will check in with you all again soon
Hello friends, I'm back for an update. I've just reached roughly the 75% mark of Twisted Games, roughly halfway through part two. And let's just say everything is hit in the fan. We are at peak drama and I am curious to see how everything is gonna play out. I believe I have like 130-ish pages left, give or take uh, 120. A little less than 120, 110, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there is the bookmark and here are all of the tabs. I'm gonna be honest, it's not my favorite book. Um, I believe I mentioned when I finished the part one that the writing was very choppy, uh, the timeline was very choppy, and I was hoping that that was all going to slow down in part two, and it's not really slowed down. Um, I do still think that the plot not the plot, but the timeline is very choppy. Um, like, for example, she would be like, oh, so today we have a ball, blah, blah, blah. The ball happened. And then the next paragraph is like, the ball was two weeks ago. And I'm just like, well, what, where were we for those two weeks? Um, so it seems very choppy. Like we're, we're not getting a lot of in between. It's kind of bugging me, but you know, it's fine. Um, and I will also mention that Reese, um, our main male character, not my favorite. He's kind of giving me the ick. Um, I, I don't like the spicy parts. I don't like how Reese is written in the spicy parts. Um, and yeah, I've been telling my friends that he's kind of giving me the ick. So ugh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this book. Like overall, the entire plot and the forbiddenness of princess bodyguard, like I'm enjoying that. But the intimate moment where it's like spicy between Bridget and Reese definitely give me the ick. Uh, but I like the like sweet, swoony, like hidden moments, like the intimacy where it's not like the D. I love those moments. I love seeing the soft side of both characters. But yeah, I don't know. So he's kind of giving me the ick and I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. But I guess we'll see in the end. Uh, I am running out of some tabs. So I'm gonna need to find uh, some tabs that are close to some of the colors. But yeah, so roughly 75% in. Um, I have about 100 some odd pages to go. Um, it is very late. It's like 11 o'clock, I think. Just kidding, it's midnight. Um, but I still want to finish this book tonight. So I'm going to just strap on my book light and hopefully I can still finish it tonight. If not very early tomorrow morning, uh, we have a long drive tomorrow. We're going down to San Diego. So I'm hoping that I can finish this one and then bring Twisted Hate, which is book three, with me and get started on that while I'm in the car. But uh, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so far, not my favorite, uh, definitely not a five star. I can say that now, I know it's not going to be a five star, but we'll see how it ends up. I'm not hating it, but like I said, not my favorite. Yeah, so that's the update and I will chat to you all soon when I have more thoughts after I finish the book. friends back with an update because i just finished twisted games so here is the final tab update uh there were a couple colors where i had to find like similar colors because i was running out but just finished twisted games um not my favorite i think i'm gonna give it 3.5 3.75 maybe uh because i did really enjoy it but the overall writing was not my favorite. The jumpiness of the timeline and like just the overall messiness of that was not my favorite. Um, it made it really hard for me to not really follow along but get engaged in the story because it was just like something happened and then we're jumping into two weeks later or months later or any something like that. Um, but overall, I did enjoy Bridget and Reese. Um, I mentioned a few times that Reese gave me the ick and he still gives me the ick uh, during spicy time but when he's just being like normal and sweet I really love that side of him but yeah for some reason his dirty talk 
just gave me the ick. I didn't like it, but that's okay. Uh, that is actually something pretty new. I don't think that I've met many characters who have given me the ick in that exact situation, but it's okay. Uh, so the first or second, second book in the series, first book in the vlog is done. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm settled at like a 3.5. Um, I believe I gave the first book four stars. So, so far I like that one more than I like this one, which is kind of surprising because I think that this is a lot of people's like favorite. Um, actually, let me check Goodreads and see like what the highest rated is. Yeah, so it seems like the highest rated is this book, uh, but so far it wasn't my favorite. So. We'll see how it goes. Uh, 3.5 stars. Nothing like horrible. It's just like it did take me a bit. Uh, I wanted to get it done faster, but because of like the timing and everything and Reese giving me the ick, it just didn't work out that way. But that's okay. We are now on to book three, which is Twisted Hate. I believe this is uh, Best Friend's Brother, Cinnamon Roll. I believe Josh is a Cinnamon Roll. I have no idea. But yeah, so I was actually like... So here's my tabs, we'll go over that in a second. But I was going like this and it seems like the spine is a bit stiffer than this one is. I actually almost cracked this spine, but whatever. Uh, so we'll see how this one is. This one is longer at, let me see how long. There's also two bonus scenes. Uh, but this book is almost 500 pages, literally at 498. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, it doesn't look like there's like a part one part two or anything like that so i'll probably update you guys every like 35 ish percent um so like between 25 and 50 and yeah you guys get the gist uh so that's probably what my goal will be every like third of the book i'll give you guys an update and we'll see where we're at uh but i don't have too much information on this book i am very 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 much looking forward to reading about josh uh because out of the entire series he's the only like cinnamon roll hero um so i'm excited i love a good cinnamon roll hero uh but i believe yeah enemies to lovers um reform player maybe i'm not sure no he's not um he's a doctor and she's trying to pass her bar exam former party girl and that's about all i know so i would check in with you guys when i'm about a third of the way into the book and we can chat about how i'm feeling friends um it's been a couple days since i last talked to you but today i actually ended up starting twisted hate by anna huang and with a surprising turn of events i'm already a third of the way into it uh so i've already read like 160 pages today which is wild um because it's physical i'm annotating and i haven't read this much in the past couple of days but i am a third into this book and i'm actually loving it i do think that this is a book that i could probably finish very very fast if it keeps up the pace um so far i haven't run into the same problems that i had with book two with the pacing and the writing so that's nice so twisted hate basically follows our main character jules who is a part of like the friend group um she is ava's friend um along with bridget and stella you know the main four girls um and our hero may our male main character is josh and josh is ava's older brother so it's a very fun time. They both hate each other. It's kind of just a mutual thing. They don't really have like any solid reasonings, I don't think, for hating each other. Uh, Josh just thinks that Jules is an insanely bad influence on Ava, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so that's basically the only thing that they hate about each other. Jules thinks that Josh is cocky and she knows that he thinks she's bad for Ava, so obviously they're not the best of friends. Um, but 
but they live in the same place so they keep running into each other. There's a lot of forced proximity situations going on and a third of the way through and they've just decided to engage in an arrangement of friends with benefits but they're not friends so they're basically like enemies with benefits. Um, yeah, so the spice has there's already been spice and it's actually super well done. I know that in book two, Reese was kind of giving me the ick during the spicy part, but so far I actually really, really love Josh. And I know that a lot of people don't like this book, so I'm very nervous to see what's going to happen and see if I'm going to continue loving it because I'm a quarter of the way through and sore uh, or I'm a third of the way through and so far it's my favorite book in the series so we're gonna see um, how things keep going because I still have lots of go uh, lots to go over 200 pages left to read still so we'll see what happens in the next 300 or so pages to see where it ends up but so far I'm loving it uh, we're basically just following Jules as she's about to start studying for her bars exam to become a lawyer. Uh, she has a rough past. We're getting glimpses into that here and there, but she definitely has a lot to unpack in her past, which I am scared because it obviously seems very sad, um, but I'm excited to see how it all unpacks and how you know, Josh reacts to it and everything. Uh, Josh is very cocky, very arrogant, but he's also very like sweet. Like you can see that he has a lot of understanding um, for Jules. He just doesn't know how to like get the point across because all they do is argue. Um, and yeah, so he's a doctor, I think. He works in the ER. Been pretty stressed lately. So we're kind of just trying to figure out how he can get back on his toes but we'll see what happens with the no strings attached no falling in love sort of arrangement that they've just got into um, and i will chat to you all in about 160 some odd pages when i reach two-thirds of the book but so far really enjoying it and yeah so i'm excited and i will chat to you all soon hello friends um, I'm in the car because we're currently at the gym, so it's kind of embarrassing if anyone sees me, but we're at the gym and we're hanging out. Usually, um, I finish before my husband, so I do read at the gym, and I don't really care that I read. It's like the update that is kind of weird, but most of them know I have a YouTube channel already, so it's fine. But if the sound and picture is weird, I apologize, but it's fine. So I'm here because I just reached two-thirds of... Twisted Hate by Anna Huang. Um, I'm actually really enjoying it. I think so far out of the other books that I've read, I think so far that this is still standing at my favorite. I still have, I think, maybe like 160 or so pages left, but it is really shaping up, shaping up to be my favorite. We know more about Jules' past, but I'm hoping that we get a little bit more about Josh. Uh, he definitely has stuff going on. He has trauma um, with his dad that's more explained in book one uh, because book one follows his sister so we know that he has the trauma and he kind of touches on that a little bit but i feel like there's more to josh and i feel like he has more things to say which i would really love to see uh because right now josh is pretty much like a cinnamon roll character love him but he does have like a filthy mouth which i'm very happy that it's not giving me the ick like um reese did in book two so so far i'm really enjoying it i'm loving the development of jules and josh's relationship and how open and honest josh is um jules is more guarded but it makes sense because she does have like a dark past that she doesn't want anyone to get into which i'm assuming will come to light soon in the third act breakup so i'm nervous on how all of that will pan out a couple people that i've talked to said that they they, they like josh but he does something that they don't necessarily like which i'm assuming is in the third act breakup so i'm nervous with how that's going to come into play and what the third act breakup or situation is going to be um i'm assuming it's going to have something to do with jules's past because they've already hinted at that there's already like trinkling of that in the story um it's just like 
what is actually going to happen with that situation. But so far, loving Twisted Love. Um, I don't know how much longer we're going to be at the gym. I'm assuming a while more. Um, so I'm currently at... 335 um if i could get to 400 that would be great before we leave uh but yeah so we'll see what happens my goal is to hopefully finish it by tomorrow as for now we're on track i am really enjoying it i'm just in a very weird mood with my reading where i either read a lot in one day or i read nothing at all so that's fine uh but with the weekend coming up i think that i can hopefully buckle down and like read a lot because i don't have plans so that is the hope and that is the update uh but yeah so i will chat to you all again when i finish twisted hate which is book three um i'm excited to finish it unfortunately i did not bring book four so if by some miracle i finish book three i still can't fin uh, start book four until tomorrow but yeah um also before i leave here is the tab update there's a lot that i am actually getting low on and obviously i'm not home so i can't like refill on those so i'll probably just have to make note and like which tabs go elsewhere when i am able to like refill the colors because i still have like 160 ish pages left give or take but yeah so that's the update chat to you all soon when i finish the book hello friends welcome back to the vlog um i don't know ever why i say welcome back because you guys didn't technically go anywhere but it's fine um it is the next day i'm currently on live sprints but i just finished twisted hate by anna Huang, and I really loved it. Definitely my favorite in the series so far. Um, I am giving this one five stars. So the first book I gave four stars. The second book I gave like three and a half stars. And this book is a five star. I really, really, really loved Josh and Jewel. Um, I feel like the third act breakup while I feel like third act conflicts aren't necessary. I felt like both characters were very valid in their reactions um, based on like their past and their history. So I wasn't like completely mad, but I love it. Josh is so far my favorite of the three that we've already met, which I expected because he is a bit of a cinnamon roll character. He's not like super broody um, like the other two from book one and two. So I had a feeling that he was gonna be my favorite. So. I do agree so far that he is my favorite. I have one more book left, which is Twisted Lies, which I will start later today or tomorrow. Not entirely sure, but that book is even bigger than this one. And this one is 500 pages. So we'll see how I feel about that one. But here's the final tab update. Lots of pretty tabs. Uh, yeah, so Joss and Jules, they figured it out. I really loved their whole like relationship and how it developed, like how you could see in the beginning, like there was like that instant annoyance when the other was around. And then it obviously led to like a no strings attached uh, sort of relationship. And then it kind of just grew from there where they just slowly started realizing that they weren't completely right about the other person. And just, just started falling um but i really loved it i think that this book was very well done i realized that anna Huang likes to do this thing like it just slightly annoys me um but she likes to do this thing where like a character will say something um that's like very impactful and then for the next like chapter or two there's like that thought is like constantly coming up and like i get it like you know you rethink and like you reflect i guess on what people say but i feel like it's done a lot like there's constantly like lines that just like reappear uh so i feel like sometimes it gets a bit repetitive even with like how they talk i feel like it can get a bit repetitive in her book so far but nonetheless i am loving the series so far um and i really really loved Twisted Hate, so far my favorite. Uh, we'll see where Twisted Lies stands at the end. Uh, but so far, Twisted Hate would be my number one. Twisted Love would be two. And then Twisted Games would be my least favorite at this moment. But we'll see, obviously, after Twisted Lies. Um, I don't think that anyone can beat Josh. Uh, I believe book four follows 
uh, Christian, I believe his name is, and Stella. I know it's Stella because she's the last friend standing, but I believe his name is Christian. Yeah, so he is uh, Stella's landlord at this point in like the story at the end of here. Uh, Stella was living in his building and that's about it. But yeah, I also really loved that we got to see like sneak peeks of Alex and Ava, which is from book one. We've seen a lot more of their relationship in this book. We didn't see as much of like Bridget and Reese, which is from book two, but I think that's okay. Uh, it's kind of hard to see them when they're like, they don't live in the same country, which is I think something that I missed in book two as well. I miss like the friendship group. Uh, but yeah, so overall, really, really loved it. Enemies to lovers, fake, it's not fake dating, uh, no strings attached enemies with benefits I guess they're not really friends uh brother's best friend and yeah I think that's pretty much all of the tropes so overall enjoyed really really loved it uh and I would chat to you all later when I am about to start twisted lies just to show you guys like my tabs and stuff um yeah so I'll chat to you guys whenever I get to that friends back with an update because I'm officially a third of the way through Twisted Lies. There we are. Here are the tabs. Maybe you can't really see it. That's a bit bright. Hold on. Yep. So there are the tabs. Um, yeah. So I'm officially a third of the way through which is about 190 pages um, and I'm actually really enjoying it. Uh, I don't know if Christian and Stella are my favorite over Josh and Jules, but we'll need to see. They are a very strong contender, uh, at least at this point in the book. I am really enjoying it. So let me tell you a bit about the book without spoiling anything. So this follows Jules. She is a fashion blogger. Like she has like a big blog um, and Christian who is the owner of the building that she's currently living at and he's like a CEO of his own like security company. Um, so there is a bit of forced proximity since they live in the same building. But see, it's very hard for me to explain what's going on in this book because the main like plot point doesn't happen until like a hundred pages in um but i will say that there is a bit of fake dating in here uh christian and stella go into a deal that is like mutually exclusive or beneficial uh they both get something out of it so they are in this like fake relationship deal for a little bit um and that's still going on but i feel like we're not it's not the main focus of the book at this point uh, because there is kind of a hint of like mystery suspense also sprinkled in. So there is also that which is kind of the main focus of what's happening now at about a third of the way in. So I am enjoying it. Um, it is a very fast paced book uh, despite it being 550 pages. I do feel like I'm reading it fairly quickly. So that's always nice. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if this is going to be like a new favorite couple. I am really enjoying it. I do like Stella. She is very independent, I guess, but also in like the sense she kind of internalizes a lot of things. So we know how she's feeling, but she doesn't really like express to her friends or all of this about issues that she may have with her family or how she's feeling about anything. Uh, so she definitely does internalize a lot. Uh, Christian is definitely, he has a past and I'm sure we'll get into that later. We still have like 300 pages left, over 300 pages. Um, so I'm sure we'll dive into him more, but he definitely has a past. Uh, there's definitely some sort of trauma there. He's very broody, doesn't really trust anyone, has already told her that he doesn't believe in love and all of that. So. He definitely has something going on that I hope we'll probably get to explore sometime soon. But yeah, so I'm a third of the way in. I am enjoying it. Hoping maybe I can get to two thirds tonight, but I'm not exactly sure uh, because I am currently reading another book that I would also like to make progress in at some point. But as for now, I'm just going to keep on reading and kind of just see how far we get. But there actually are already some tabs that I'm running a bit low on, so I'm gonna have to hopefully find 
tabs that kind of match it pretty closely. But yeah, so that's the one third update for Twisted Lies. And I'll update you guys again when I'm two thirds of the way in. Hello friends, it has been a couple of days, but I'm back with a vlog update um, because I'm officially two thirds of the way through Twisted Lies. Here is the tab update. It's very, very pretty, uh, but this book is very, very long. I still have about a little less than 200 pages left, but this is the last update before the last update. So how am I feeling? What are we doing? Uh, so basically, I'm really loving Christian and Stella. Uh, I feel like they do have layers to getting to know each other. Um, a bit of a slow burn. It takes them a little bit to, what's the word, like romantic connection. Um, it's always there, obviously. There's the attraction, all of that fun stuff. But it takes them a little bit to admit to anything like that or for anything spicy to happen. You can kind of see in the tabs, the red is the spicy and it doesn't come until more recently. So this one is a bit more slow burn than I was expecting, especially with Christian and his personality being so intense and very protective, possessive, um, and all of those things of Stella. But he was very much uh, protective of her without pursuing anything romantic, which I actually really, really liked. Um, he was letting Stella kind of stand on her own two feet, figure out who she is, things like that, um, without being too overbearing, but also being very supportive of her. So I really, really, really enjoy the uh, relationship between Christian and Stella. Um, I did mention, I believe, in my last update that there is a bit of a mystery suspense aspect of the book sort of going on. Um, I feel like that kind of died off. Uh, obviously, it is still unanswered and things will need to be figured out. But as of now, it's not the main focus. Um, I do think that it's going to come back into play very, very soon just based on how things are going. Um, but overall, I am enjoying it. Uh, do I think it's better than Twisted Hate? No, I think Josh Chen will just stay at the top for me. Um, but I am enjoying it. I'm not hating it at all. It is a very long book. So we'll see how I feel in the end and whether or not I feel like it's too long or anything like that. But with just under 200 pages left, I know that this third act conflict is going to be a big one. Uh, we already know that Christian is keeping secrets. So I'm curious to see what those secrets are because there seems to be no sort of like hinting at what it is so i'm wondering what the secret is um and how stella will find out and how that will affect the relationship and everything um it's a happily ever after so obviously it will get resolved uh so that'll kind of be the big thing on i guess what will affect my rating is what the third act conflict is and how it's resolved um based on our characters but Overall, really enjoying it, um, having a lot of fun with it. Very easy to read, I just haven't had as much time to read. So I'm hoping to finish this book at least by tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, I will be back hopefully soon with my final update and now probably give you guys an official ranking of the books in my opinion, like how much I like them. Um, and then that'll be the end of the vlog. Uh, so as of now, I'm just going to jump back into reading and I'll update you guys soon again when I finish Twisted Lies. Hello friends, finally back for a final update because I just finished Twisted Lies by Anna Huang, the fourth and final book in the Twisted series. Overall thoughts, I gave this one 4.5 stars. I actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, this is a bit more of a slow burn, which I actually don't mind. I feel like I've been dabbling more into slow burn, so it didn't bother me too much. Um, I really enjoyed seeing Stella grow um, into her own person, uh, getting a backbone, and I loved seeing Christian soften and realize that, you know, not everything is so, so, so bad in the world. You know, like it could be okay. Um, so overall, I really enjoyed it. Here is the final tab update. Uh, like I said, 4.5 stars. The only reason why it wasn't five stars um, was because of the third act conflict. Um, I believe I mentioned in my last update that I thought it was going to be this huge thing. It was going to be so big and it was going to hurt me. And... While it did hurt a little bit, I was a bit sad for a bit. Um, 
I felt like the beginning of the book kind of made it out to be something a bit bigger. Um, not that it was like anything like good, like I don't know how to explain it. Um, I just thought it would be something bigger, more dramatic. Um, and then it kind of fell flat for me when I realized what the whole third act conflict was about. Um, but overall, that's fine. Like I said, 4.5 stars. There is my key, and of course, like the other ones, this one is signed. Um, but yeah, there it is, all the tabs. There's annotations, some underlines, some words, some fun things like that. But 4.5 stars, really, really enjoyed Christian and Stella. So that is the end of this reading vlog where I read these three books, the rest of the Twisted series. Um, I have a separate vlog for this one, which is Twisted Lies, um, the first one. Does it bother me that this one does not have the Bloom logo? Yes, it does, but it is all fine. Um, they are all tabbed, but Twisted Love is not annotated, but that's okay. Um, here they all are together. It's so, so pretty. Um, so, let me tell you guys my rating. So, my least favorite, based on this vlog we already know, is Twisted Games. Uh, Reese just didn't do it for me. Although I did enjoy Bridget more. Um, yeah, I just didn't like Reese and their overall story uh, wasn't really my favorite. Um, and then third is Twisted Love. I actually feel like this could have benefited a little bit from being a bit longer, which is weird considering how much I've said that I didn't like how this series got longer. Um, and I actually enjoyed Alex as the series went on more. Like, I really loved him in the last two books. Um, and actually, in games, too, I really enjoyed him. But Twisted Love was kind of just a mess. And I remember Alex being all over the place. Um, their third act conflict was a really big thing that uh, I know I'm not sure how I feel about it. But seeing how it all resolved... This is in my third place, and then in my second place would be Twisted Lies, um, the fourth book that I just finished. Like I said, I did enjoy it. Um, I just felt like their overall conflict that is exposed in the end um, was a bit weird. Not weird, but made out to be something bigger than I th personally thought it was. And then my favorite, no surprise based on how I've been talking about it this entire vlog, would be Twisted Hate. Mr. Josh Chen gets the number one spot. Um, really, really loved his connection with Jules. I feel like they had the best banter. Um, and I think it's because they had the history, you know, with the already hating each other. Uh, but yeah, so this is my overall rating of the series. Um, and yeah, so if you've read this series, let me know how you liked it. Um, if you haven't, let me know if it's on your TBR or anything like that that um but yeah so i have officially knocked an entire series off my tbr and i'm very very happy about that um and now they will sit like this on my shelves all pretty with their tabs faced out but that is it from me um i hope you enjoyed i'm not sure how long this will be i'm going to assume it's a bit of a long one but maybe not too long since i read three books this time but Overall, really enjoyed it. Happy to finish the series, and I'm glad that I continued with it. Um, I was a bit hesitant after book one, and then after book two, I was like, is this actually for me? But I'm very, very happy that I stuck with it, because three and four are the best in the series, in my opinion, despite them being the biggest books, because they definitely get bigger as the series go on. But nonetheless, that is all for me. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!